Why hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and today is a brand new custom minifigure tutorial in my Moon Knight custom series. Now, this one is for episode 5 that just came out. Um, yes, going week by week here, and this character was shown in the episode 4, the ending of episode 4, and yes, is in the series. I actually don't know if this is going to be character is going to be in episode 5 because uh, I'm recording this two days earlier. But however, this is sort of my interpretation of the character to use your imagination, if you will, because I had to do some brainstorming, okay? And um, yes, you might be confused, like, what are you looking at here? But I had to do some work for this character. Now, this is Tuaret, the hippo goddess of mother of, of I almost said love, of uh, mother of pregnancy and childbirth, which I actually looked it up. And um, the Greek goddess, yes. And... I'm going to show you how to make her today. It's actually a hippopotamus, but I googled, like, Lego hippo stuff, and I don't actually have any Lego heads. So, uh, the only one that they make are, like, Duplo Lego hippo heads. So, I had to improvise here. I took the Lego llama head from the Lego collectible minifigure series. I believe it's 21. I don't think it's 22. 22, no, that's 21. Uh, and, or it might be the 20. It might, no, Series 20. It's not Series 21. It's Series 20 from Lego Collectible Minifigure Series 21. Or 20. And then the head I took is the Scarecrow head from the... Um, whoops. If I can take that off. It, to, match the, the, to match the skin tone, I took Scarecrow's head from the Lego Movie 2 Collectible Minifigure Series. And just put that on there. If you have a hippo head, whatever works for you, whatever you like. I just took this llama to make it kind of look better to make that elongated neck and then the torso I took is from the monkey kid from the Lego collectible minifigure series I like that little moon emblem as well on the torso there I took Simon Baz Green Lantern arms there from this Green Lantern from the DC collectible minifigure series if you actually want to see the uh, monkey kid figure for some reference there you go and then I took these legs from the, um, um, like, the ox or the minotaur figure, which, I, oddly enough, I don't actually have the minotaur figure, but that's where the legs come from. I like the um, detail on the legs there, but I took them from this guy right here. I don't have the cyclops legs. This, these legs came together from my cousin, so I don't know. Just a weird story there um, that I actually don't have the minotaur, oddly enough, and I don't have the legs that go to the cyclops. Those are the, what went together when I got it from my cousin, so, uh, oddly enough, I just used these legs that came from the cyclops, but are actually on the minotaur figure. So, anyway, guys, that's how to build. I didn't give this figure an accessory, only because, uh, when the episode was released, this character wasn't holding anything, but if you want to give anything to this figure, to this custom, you're more than willing to do so. Uh, I, 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 by the way, I like how this custom turned out. I would have loved to have a hippo head on top of it, but I think for imagination's sake, I think it works just as well. Let me know what you think of this fifth custom in my Moon Knight custom series. What are you thinking of the show? I think it's still absolutely the best one by far. Still uh, not trashing on any of the other ones. I still love them to death. And uh, as well, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Uh, follow me over at Boba Fett Jedi Master. Links down below. As always, don't forget to stay tuned for more customs and more reviews in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. Bye, everyone.